Hi, welcome to Children's Moment at Centenary United Methodist Church. Today our friend Rizzo is with us, but he's crying. Rizzo, do you have a problem? Uh-huh, what's the matter? You don't want to say? Why is your backpack on your back? Why, why, why are, are you going somewhere? Where are you going, Rizzo? Do you want to tell me? Do you want to tell me? He's running away from home. And he lives in the church, so he has to run away from the church. He's running away from home. Rizzo, why are you running away? He had a fight with his brother. They had an argument, and he's very upset. I don't know if you've ever had an argument with your brother or sister, but for Rizzo, it's a really sad thing. And so he's going to run away from home. Rizzo, we want you to stay here at the church. Boys and girls, do we want Rizzo to stay here? Do we want him to stay home? Oh, good. Yeah, everybody wants you to stay. We all love you, Rizzo. Sure we do. Do you think maybe we could get your brother to come in and we could maybe talk about the situation a little bit? We could have a conversation about it. Maybe we could work something out. Will you give it a try, Rizzo? Should he give it a try, boys and girls? What do you think? They say you should. Okay. Scruff! Scruff! Where are you, Scruff? Hi, Scruff. How are you? Are you good? Are you glad to see the boys and girls? Huh? And you're glad to see me? Of course you... Oh, I thank you for kisses. What about... What about your brother? Are you glad to see Rizzo? Your friend, your pal, your buddy that you live in the church with? They don't look very happy with each other right now, do they? Are you guys going to be okay? No. Do you remember what you argued about? No, they don't even remember. Have you ever had an argument like that where you're mad and upset and you don't even remember what for? That happens sometimes. You guys remind me of a great story out of the Bible. Yeah, the Bible talks about things like that, really. It's a wonderful story from Genesis 33. It's about two brothers. One is named Jacob, and one is named Esau. Jacob and Esau, they were brothers. And they lived together in the same house. But they didn't always get along. Sometimes they had fights and arguments. And one day it got so bad that Jacob decided he would run away from home. He really did, and he put on his backpack and off he went, just like Rizzo. But he wasn't very happy. He thought about his home and his family, and he was lonely and sad, and he decided to come home. But he didn't know what was gonna happen with his brother. He knew Esau had been mad at him, but now what would happen? And when he got almost home, he heard that Esau was coming to meet him, and Esau had a whole army with him. And so Jacob was very scared. He was very worried. He didn't know what to do. But finally, he, the two brothers met. And do you know what Esau did? Can you imagine what Esau did? He forgave his brother. They made up, and they were so happy. They forgave each other and made up, and they could be a family again. What do you think we ought to do? Thinking about that story, what should Rizzo and Scruff do? That's right. I think they need to forgive each other. Oh, isn't that the best? They forgave each other, and now they're friends and brothers again. So anytime you have an argument or a little disagreement with one of your brothers or sisters or your friends or someone in your family, remember the story from the Bible of Jacob and Esau, two brothers who forgave each other. And just think about our wonderful friends here and how they forgave each other. And now let's say our prayer. Lord God, help us to forgive one another. Help us, Lord God, to get over old hurts and old problems and allow you to lead us in a whole new way to live, loving and forgiving one another. In Christ's name, amen. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.